Hey there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know, I am. I hope you enjoyed that little example at the start of today's video. That's going to be the subject of today's lesson. Uh, just as a little aside here, I decided to employ somebody to do my titles and thumbnails for, for the videos. Uh, I know I've talked about it before and I spend hours trying to come up with a title for, for my videos and uh, I really struggled with it. So for this one, I decided to get somebody else's help and I told him to be diplomatic and tactful with the titles. So hopefully he's done a really good job on this one. Okay, <laughs> let's get cracking with today's little lesson. Um, wide interval patterns is the subject of today's lesson. Um, and I've taken that initial sequence as an example. I'm going to show you how I kind of put those, get those ideas, how I create those ideas by using something that we already know, something really simple and just uh, applying a simple concept to it and uh, you end up with a sequence like the one I played at the start of the video. So I'm digressing as always. Well, I'm not actually. Uh, I'm getting to the point. Um, so yeah, so why don't we go straight to it? Okay, what we're doing here is with this pattern, we, we, we take the minor pentatonic scale, in this case the A minor. Uh, but we're not going to play it like that. We're going to um, do a specific sequence. First off, we're going to use the top four strings. So the D, G, B and E strings. Let me move back here. D, G, B and E strings. Okay, so we're going to play a minor pentatonic, but instead of two notes per string, what we're going to do is we're going to take two on the D, three on the G, one on the B, and then three on the top E. So we get two, three, one, three. Okay, so we're not actually going to use that. We're going to be a little bit sneaky here. Um, we're going to use it as a template, but what we're going to do is drop a couple of notes out to create that wide interval sound. Okay. So, so far it's just a straight ahead pentatonic scale, uh, which works great and sounds great. I use it all the time. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to drop out this fella and this fella here. So that's G7 and E8. So we end up with note wise two, two, one, two. Okay, let me do that again. Okay, so you can see where that pattern comes from. It's a really great sounding pattern. And of course we can apply sequences to it. All the rest of it. Uh, but to start with, I wanna keep it nice and simple so that you can um, take the patterns and integrate them into your own playing. Then once you've established that, then you can start applying different sequential patterns um, to that. So that's our first position. And it follows that we, we can just move positions, still keeping it in a minor pentatonic. So we're not venturing out of that key. So all of those notes are diatonic to that key. Um, we can move into the next position and do exactly the same thing. So what do we have? If we do this, that gives us our template, two, three, one, three. And we're gonna do the same, get rid of these two fellas. So let me show you that what that is. Seven, 10, seven, 12, 10, eight, and then 12. Okay, so, so far we have this. Next position. These sound really fantastic. You can do lots of really cool things with them. So moving on. Here's our sequence. Two, three, one, three. And we're gonna get rid of these two here. This is a little bit trickier purely because of the way the notes fall on the fretboard. So you're gonna to have to pick a fingering 
uh, and try and stick with it. But just use your common sense. Use one which flows. So, what do we have? Nice and sl slowly. Okay, good. Moving on to the next one. Two, three, one, three. And we're going to get rid of these two. Okay, so what is that? Twelve, fourteen, twelve, seventeen, fifteen, twelve, seventeen. Okay, good. Moving on. Next pattern. Two, three, one, three. And we're going to ditch these two fellas here. We don't need those. So that leaves us with... Uh, be careful here. You'll have to decide which fingering... Um, you could do one, three, one, two, two. Or one three one four. I, should, I meant to say one three one four three. Yes, yeah, totally up to you. Go with whatever you feel. Okay, uh, and then finally, we've got the position that we started with. So that is the whole sequence. Then um, uh, lots of things that you can do with that, and we've got to follow this up with another video coming tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned. Remember, 50% off my website. Get over there for downloads, downloadable content. Um, it's a great way to support me. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.